Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario. Thanks for coming back to the Belisario Sonic YouTube channel from the heart of the Deep South near Birmingham, Alabama. Today, I'm going to be doing a review, opening up this record per Husby Septet. This is a reissue of a very rare jazz record that was done out of Norway. And all these guys are Norwegian. But this is done off that BBE label that does a lot of that Japanese jazz. But they do a lot of other other stuff as well. Um, check out the website. I'll put a link below. Um, but this was originally issued on a very small label. was very obscure. Uh, there wasn't a lot of money to promote and uh, do a lot of PR for this or distribute it. There were only 500 copies made when it was first put out. Back in, I think, 1976, I think, 1976. Um, and these guys are all from Norway. This is kind of a, a small, big band type thing. I've been listening to it online, streaming it, and I really liked it. And uh, ended up buying it when uh, it went on sale. So I'm going to be opening this up and playing it for you. And maybe this is something that you guys might be interested in picking up that's not very well known. So I kind of like doing some obscure things. Um, so this right here, is this is reissued with the original artwork with the approval of Per Husby himself. Uh, he's also provided the, the sleeve notes for this. It's 180 gram LP cut at 45 RPM here by the Grammy nominated uh, Carvery Studio. Uh, a little bit about this guy. I really didn't know anything about him. He's still alive. He was born in 1949 in Oslo. He's a Norwegian jazz pianist. He also composes music and he's a teacher and orchestra leader. So um, apparently pretty well known in uh, Norway, but here in the States, of course, we I've never heard of him. So let's open this up and drop it on. Again, it's gonna be 45 RPM. So hopefully the sound quality is gonna be really good. This is a gatefold. And a lot of this stuff I'll just be sitting on uh, Amazon Music and flipping through things and I'll see it and I'll just give it a listen. And you know, all of a sudden I'm buying more records. All right, so the records come inside of the, just sitting inside like the other BBE uh, records and they're in regular, they are just in regular paper insert sleeves there. So I'll take those off and replace those. Um, let's see where side one is. It's a nice gateful with textured uh, cover. Seems to be a nice quality. Okay, there we go, side one. So there's your... Um, apparently he's written all the, the liner notes here. So it looks like there's a lot written there on the back. So I'll show that a little closer to you as we play. Let me go ahead and uh, clean this record off here. Again, these are 180 gram, but they are 45 RPM. And you can see there's a little specks and stuff on this. So I have to make sure I clean this off well. Um, distilled water. So I got a couple more of these sealed records that I've purchased over the last couple of weeks that I haven't opened that I've been wanting to do reviews on and I've just been busy doing other things. So I'm going to go ahead and get those out of the way. I'll be continuing on the Felonious Monk box set reviews. Those are coming along. I've done three of those. I've got four to go. Playing this on the RT85 with the order fine blue. Going through my shit money preamp into my Yamaha HS8 speakers. And that setup seems to work pretty nice for this room in here. It's not a very big room, so I don't need 
you know, huge speakers in here. Um, those Yamaha HS8s have a nice bass response and um, they seem to work well for this room. They're certainly not cheap speakers by any means. Um, but they give a very nice true presence. They don't color the music a whole lot like other speakers will kind of color the music. All right, so we're gonna play the first song. O Private Blumdito by Charlie Parker. So there's the uh, gamble we'll drop this on at 45 RPM. It's kind of big band it's got that that bebop feel to it you know i've been using these hudson hi-fi sleeves been using these sleeves to replace replace the paper sleeves and i like these a lot they fit in the records really nice so i've been using these just for you guys out there who might be interested. And I'm, I'm, I really, you know, I've listened to this streaming online, and I, I really enjoyed it when I saw when it was on sale online. I, I picked it up, and I'm, I really like this a lot. This is a song by 
Your Husby. This is a tune by him called Novki. I'm digging it, it sounds really nice. Um, everything is nice and clear. It has a nice warm sound to it. I have no idea what the source that was used. It doesn't say on, on the website, but it sounds really nice. Again, this was done in 1976. It was definitely done on tape originally. I'm digging it. Nuts. The jacket's pretty nice. Kind of textured. It's a little bit thicker than a lot of the ones you get. You know, these are it's decent. My only complaints, they use paper sleeves instead of the anti-static sleeves, but I buy these uh, packs of these uh, Hudson high five buy a hundred of the time so they're not too expensive like 25 bucks or something like that so for those of you guys that are interested in stuff like this it kind of has that bebop feel but it's kind of a more a big band types arrangements um something that's that's kind of different There you have it, the Pear Husby Septet Peacemaker. Check it out online and check it out on Amazon streaming or whatever your favorite streaming is, see if you like it. This is a uh, pretty nice sounding record. So 245 RPM records, 1976, something a little different. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. We'll see you on the next video. Happy listening to all of you. Take care.